So you've got your own label. Do you find generally it's mainly positive things that that brings you, or do you find there's more pressure because obviously you have to be self-motivated and it's all on your back rather than having a company behind you that says can help you out and get you out of strife? Yes, yeah, uh, there's always pressure, but um, I guess it's less in the way that if we screw up, it's actually it's only us to blame for it. And I'd rather that than um, become, you know, moody and, and bitching at somebody else for not doing their job. Yeah. I'd much rather hate myself because I've gotten pretty good at that over the years. Um, yeah, that's pretty easy. It's other people that, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool though because we're kind of setting it up where nobody really, right, right now, no one really knows how to like put out records. No one really knows like what's going to sell or stick. Mm -hmm. They've all got theories, but they're all just completely made up. So it's kind of a good time to try your own hand at something. Because we think we've got a pretty good idea at like what people are here for and what they want and not just to try and not make it that much more complicated than it has to be. And mm -hmm. we're kind of a touring band and um, that's pretty much where the heart of it lies now. Do you really enjoy the lifestyle of touring, the constant moving? Like that, or are there any aspects that you find a bit tricky still? I love it. I mean, it's it, you couldn't really have a, a better job um, mm. and see the world. You only see a, a piece of the puzzle each time you come, but if you make a point to like see a different place every time, then over a decade or two, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll see the whole the whole thing laid out, put all the pieces of the the kitten together. kitten puzzle together, and then yeah. you see one big fat. Furry kitten at the end. <laughs> what places of London are you going to try and see on this trip then? What pieces of the kitten? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, probably the tail, the tail end. It's a good point. Um, yeah. Start at the tail, and then you get to the paws. Get the paws right, and then you can kind of work on the rest of. And the ears are kind of the cherry. Is top. anyone stroking the kitten while you're here? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Should we move on swiftly? Um, yeah, I'm going to let you take the rest of that yeah, one. <laughs> See if you can get out of that. Um, I'll go on to the next question, I think. Um, so have you been writing while you've been on the road for like, the next record, or do you just chill out when you're, in the, when you're not on the gig? Um, I've been trying to... St I just started writing uh, again like uh, just a little bit ago, but um, after like we finished this album, it took us... like. Uh, a year to make it and I really didn't want to like listen to myself sing any more than I had to <laughs> yeah. so it was kind of nice just to shut up for a while and let, let things kind of restart and have something new so just some experience something new to talk about yeah. so I don't know I don't have all that much to say yet yeah. I realized some things so there's some good things but this hasn't formed mm -hmm. completely um, I gotta, yeah, I gotta get some more pieces of the of the kitten <laughs> put together. Yeah, kitten again. Do you find LA an inspiring place, or do you have to look back maybe at your time in San Francisco more, or just look at current things generally? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, when you're writing, is LA quite a good place to be based at all? Does it, is, with all the dramas that happen there, does it ever influence lyrically or anything? Or? Um. It's good. It's a good place to leave a mess, um, but it's nice to like go and like actually record outside of your hometown, wherever it is, mm -hmm. um, just so you can get away from distractions and family and friends and people calling you and wanting you to go out and things that just make it so you're not, I don't know, you're not focused all that much. You've got too many things, um, what do they call it, responsibilities? Yeah, or, uh, people have expectations on you mm -hmm. so um because pretty much you want to try and check out of the world for a while and <clears throat> we went to philadelphia on this last one and locked ourselves away in this house there's a friend of ours house and we just stayed there for six months and um and wrote and kind of lived there like just as friends and as a band and there wasn't a eh, fuck all to do in the town so it was really great for that um Boredom often is uh, a really good thing for music, for being creative. He's got nothing else to 
mm. Twitter about. Yeah. So <laughs> not that I do that, but do you, are you I not on Twitter? No, or I can't stand. I think it's the I think it's the that. devil. Yeah. Uh, I think Twitter is the 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 great self obsessed like evil, but um, <laughs> it's just my personal opinion. I think the band has one that our management posts like tour news on yeah. or like dates and you know nothing personal about what you're eating how many yeah slices of pizza i had that day i don't think i don't even want to know let alone <laughs> let alone anyone else i'd hope not yeah. so this summer have you got any festivals planned in the uk so people can catch you um we're talking about a couple of them but we're trying to dodge it just because um i don't know i'm not i'm not, I'm not some of some are fun but it's a fine line between when it just starts feeling kind of like a bit of a meat market thing. Mm. Not quite the funnest way to play music. Sometimes it's good just to get a change of pace though, so we'll see. Watch the space. What's that? Watch the space. Wait well, and see. Yeah, well, well really we're talking, to talking to them, but you know, they got to make a pretty good offer. Oh, really? What, yeah. would, what would tempt you then? Um, Oh, what are we asking for? You don't want to know. Um, <laughs> what about Star Mix? <laughs> yeah, no, Star Mix I'll go for, okay. actually. But don't cut that out of the interview. Don't let <laughs> yeah, them know yeah, that's yeah. my weak spot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, um, have a good gig tonight. Um, thanks for talking to Bring the Noise. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.